When using Commit with MIDI tracks, it is most effective when you have multiple MIDI parts playing a single output virtual instrument. Committing MIDI tracks in this fashion will solo any of the MIDI tracks being committed and render a single audio track from them. In this example, we have a single virtual instrument on an aux track with four separate instruments representing a string quartet, two violins, a viola, and a cello. We also have four MIDI tracks that are the four parts of the string quartet. Let's play what we have. As you can see, we have the four parts playing the single virtual instrument and the outputs of the four parts being played out the same aux track output. We will then select the two violin parts, right click on the track name state plate and select commit. We will choose to hide and make the MIDI tracks inactive. Hit OK and the render process begins. Once finished, there will be a new audio track for the violin parts and the original MIDI tracks have been made inactive and hidden. The new audio track has been named from the Virtual Instrument Aux track, so let's rename it Violins. If any changes need to be made, just unhide and reactivate the MIDI tracks to edit as needed and recommit. This is a very easy way to turn MIDI into audio.